<clears throat> in Maharshi's opening remarks, he gave a very promising vision that the creation of world peace could be a profitable enterprise for anyone in any city throughout the world. Maharshi also used the expression in this connection that the light of God would be shining in the peace palaces and shining into the city. One journalist asks, literally, what is the light of God? Is that the same as heaven? And can the light of God be seen with human eyes? It is the light of God through which the eyes see. Is the faculty or is the quality of consciousness. Consciousness is the light of God. Consciousness is that level which we say the light of God and religious textbooks throughout the ages have been describing the light of God as omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. The light of God is that wakefulness of consciousness Consciousness fully awake in itself, that is, transcendental consciousness. Experience of that we have been teaching for 50 years in the world through transcendental meditation. Mind roaming about in fluctuations gets to Final fluctuations, final fluctuations, final fluctuations, final fluctuations, finest fluctuation, no fluctuation, pure light of God. We can we can talk about it in terms of a, a, a candle lamp, a lamp. Now the the light. Uh, the light of the flame, the flame, and then radiance from the flame as the rays, rays of light, rays of light. So flame itself, we can think in terms of light of God, and radiance, radiance will be through different senses, through eyes one sees, through ears one hears, through the sense of touch one touches, like that, the five senses of perception. So these are the rays, but when it is on its own, shining on its own, that is light of God, the flame, the flame. Rays are the rays of the light of God throughout the creation. That is consciousness or intelligence. Intelligence, consciousness. So it is the total value and it is the partial radius from there. The light of God is intelligence. It is the intelligence that sees through the eyes, that see, hears through the ears, that tastes through the tongue. Intelligence. And intelligence in itself is the light of life, the light of God, the light of natural law. Natural law. We call it natural law because everything is said. When something is to be heard, it will be through ears. 
It's a set, so it's a law. You see through you see through the eyes, you hear through the ears. So it comes within the range of law. This is how natural law makes the intelligence behave through the senses. So it is the light of God. Light of God is not an imaginary thing. Huh? Everything else is imaginary, but that is the basic thing, the light of God. Intelligence. Intelligence. Now it depends upon how much awake is intelligence, whether it is 100% awake or 80% awake or 20% awake, how much drowsy a man is. <laughs> we can talk in terms of drowsiness or in terms of wakefulness, transcendental consciousness is fully awake intelligence. And when intelligence is fully awake, then perception is totally possible. Action is totally possible in the intent, in the direction of intention. Whatever you want will happen. Natural law brings it down. Natural law brings it down. Natural law brings it down. It's just the same way as the flame. If the flame is more lit up, if the flame is more awake, then the radiance is more thorough, more strong. Light will go farther, farther one would see more things clearly. So transcendental consciousness is that value which we say natural law or light of God or self-referral unified field, whatever, in whatever way we describe it, so many languages in the world, all, all expressions have their value in this expression of intelligence. Intelligence. So we want everyone to be fully intelligent. For that, one has to practice morning and evening transcendental meditation, and with practice, that phrase we have, practice makes a man perfect. Perfect in this case is in making use of the light of God. That means all possibilities become easy for him. That is our program and what we have found is a very shortcut for all mankind, six billion people of our world, with a few thousand people focusing on their own pure wakefulness of intelligence, they will radiate. They will radiate by their collective practice. They will radiate throughout the world, that influence of enlightenment, which will take away the darkness, which will take away wrong thinking, negative values, take away, that's all, simple. So it's time in this scientific age for us all to establish such a, such a group and give the advantage to the whole man, group of mankind everywhere. It's a very beautiful thing, very beautiful thing.
It's a great joy to talk about it. It's a great joy to, to tell the people about it. It's a great joy to give the people about it. It's a great joy. <laughs>